け翼俺の偽りのない全力のサッカーをみんなに見せつけてやる俺のプレーで全世界を驚かせてやるんだ Hello, Hello and, welcome and welcome to, to Ike Tsuba.、Uh, uh, hold up, Quasar. Who's gonna do the intro? Uh, me? No, no, no. You. Nah, nah, you go ahead. I'll take on the end. <laughs> Then why did you interrupt? Never mind. Let's do this again. Hello and welcome to Ike Tsubasa with both your hosts, Quasar FC and Y Station, bringing you the epic and broken Super Dream Fest segment. I really can't wait to review this. Just start, dude. Okay, okay. First of all, Happy New Year to all of you and hope this new year brings you much happiness and joy. Help us by hitting that like button so that YouTube would recommend this video to other Captain Tsubasa Dream Team fans. Okay, let's do this together, Wise. One, two, three. Ike! Ozora Tsubasa, resuscitating ultra play, is a skill type Japanese attacking midfielder that played for one of the Spanish club giants, Catalonia, during the Road to 2002 arc. This beast of a Tsubasa comes fully loaded with five hidden abilities. He comes with a total of 4% stats for his team with two different bonds, plus 2.5% with three or more club players, and plus 1.5% with six or more Japanese players. Fiery potential, granting him up to 20% stat boost depending on his stamina. The lower the stamina, the higher the bonus. Tenacity, giving him the ability to use special skills as long as he has one or more stamina. Fiery potential and tenacity are great together as they synergize really well, ensuring Tsubasa's final contribution is at his best. Lastly, Direct Hotline grants forwards in his team plus 5% stats for their next action if they receive the pass from Tsubasa! His team skill is relevant as well. Super Solidarity for skill type club players plus 20%. He is equipped with a sparkling new passive, Chance Maker. This passive actually works like a hack as it grants Tsubasa the ability to adjust a teammate's position regardless of whether he is the recipient or not when passing the ball in a matchup, including regular white passes. This opens up lots of possibilities and makes it really easy to set up no constant aerial shots and through balls as long as they are within a certain range. Do note that the player movement happens after Tsubasa passes the ball, so you can't move offside players back onside. His main skill, Legend of Catalonia, is a no distance decay S rank shot capped at a staggering 535 momentum that costs a massive 555 stamina per use. It's a combination shot that requires Reval to be present alongside Tsubasa. He is rounded off with a top tier S 1 2 new golden duo capped at 475 momentum and S flying drive pass capped at 455 momentum. Tsubasa's total stats is below 75k and his stats allocation is quite well balanced with his shot and pass ahead of the rest at over 9.5k. He should excel in all aspects as long as he is equipped with relevant S rank skills. On top of that, he comes with slightly over 1.2k stamina and his mobility is pleasing at 7.1k speed. We suggest going for a more attacking build with 25 shot and power, 22 dribble and pass, 3 speed and technique. In general, we would recommend dumping your E Day medals on him, especially if you have all his top tier S rank skills and max out all his stats. Tsubasa's shot is 15.2k just behind Natureza, while his volley and header are both above 17k due to his high and low ball bonus. At this point, his Legend of Catalonia hits 81.7k, Ultimate Skydive shot over 90k, Supernatural 2 stage aerial overhead kick at 81.6k, New Golden Duo over 68k, Flying Drive Pass at 65.6k, and Snowboard Drivel at 65.1k. Oof, that was long. All these figures elevate by 20%, assuming that the full passive is achieved. Legend of Catalonia hits over 98k, Ultimate Skydive Shot soars over 108k, and Supernatural 2 stage aerial overhead kick shy of 98k force. Keep all of his default skills if you are playing him alongside Revolve. 
drop him supernatural two stage aerial overhead kick and snowboard dribble or revolt turn to complete his build. For those that are going to boundary break him, you can drop him defensive skills such as V3 or Swift Interception and Aurora Curtain. You can replace the suggested overhead kick with ultimate skydive shot if Misaki is in the same team or even flash raiju shot if you can fulfill the requirements. Do note that Tsubasa doesn't come with skill block cancel, so having more than one non-flying shot is always going to benefit him against skill blockers. Tsubasa is considered the most broken player in the game. Not just because of his stats or abilities, he is one of the few players that comes with mid to top tier S rank skills covering all aspects except for blocking. So along with the introduction of Boundary Break, it is now possible to build the perfect Tsubasa that has no weakness in a matchup. Furthermore, his passive changes how the game is being played, as it discourages players from attempting any sort of offside trap by playing a highly defensive line. With all that said, a 5-star rating is the bare minimum we can award Tsubasa. He is a true all-rounder that can only get stronger as the game goes on and a very capable scorer that seems almost unstoppable with his last action. And now, let's jump on to my boy, Weiss. Thank you, Quasar. Not to raise a heaven sent number zero is a toughness type Brazilian ace playing for Madrid Blanco during the road to 2002 arc. Able to play in two positions, he fits easily in your team as either attacking midfielder or a forward. Not to raise is fully loaded out with five hidden abilities, two types of bond adding up to a total of 4% stat for his teammates, 2.5% with 3 or more club players and 1.5% with 6 or more non-Japanese players. Pedal to the metal, granting him 15% stat bonus during full power football recover, reducing his stun time by 80%. Lastly, sharp angle shooter, reduces the momentum lost when shooting from the tight angle. His team skill is super solidarity for toughness type club players 20%. This type of team skill is getting more and more relevant since the introduction of J-League players. Furthermore, we do feel that the meta seems to be pivoting toward club players. <laughs> Finally, his passive auto intercept enhance gives him a 100% chance to activate a special intercept skill when a pass flies by. Natreza comes up equipped with 3 S rank skills. His main shot skill, Natreza counter, is capped at 510 momentum and requires 470 stamina per use. This shot comes with a special effect which reduces the momentum lost over distance, also known as distance decay. A new debut dribble skill, bound dribble, capped at 455 momentum and costs 240 stamina. And lastly, lightning intercept capped at 455 momentum. Natreza comes with more than 75k total stats, more than even Dreamfest Michael. This puts him in the number one spot for total stats. His best dribble, shot, and intercept are all above 10k, with the rest of his stats ranging between 7 to 9k. Basically, he is good in everything but weaker on tackle and block. He is quick enough to move around the pitch with 7.1k speed and comes in with a huge 1.2k gas tank. We suggest going with 25 shot, power, 22 dribble, intercept, 3 speed, and 3 technique. Further investment should be spread evenly, with the tackle being the last, of course, excluding block. Now, we include Natureza's in match parameters when his pedal to the metal is active on the right of the table. Note that all figures shown include our suggested limit break. His best shot, dribble, and intercept are all above 14k. His volley and header are both above 17k due to his high and low ball bonus granting him an additional 12.5%. Natureza counter hits 80.7k, flying dive overhead kick is at 90.8k, and soft touch looping volley hits 87.2k force. Utility wise, his miracle dribble is just shy of 70k and light intercept at 67.3k force, enough to bully weaker dribbles. During full power, these figures ascend to new heights. Natureza counter hits 92.8k, flying dry overhead kick over 104k, and soft touch looping volley at 97.2k force. His miracle dribble becomes quite unstoppable at over 97k, and he bullies most meta players with his staggering 77.4k force lighting intercept. <laughs> wow. Thank <laughs> you. 
consider replacing Bound Dribble with Miracle Dribble if you can, and drop him Flying Drive Overhead Kick, finish him up with Back Heel Pass or Dream Do Extreme, depending on your lineup. Assuming that Teresa is Bound Broken, we suggest giving him Miracle Flying Drive Shot as he does not have the skill block cancellation, and this shot also works well with his sharp angle shield ability. Lastly, Soft Touch Looping Volley. We do not recommend two-stage flying drive shot as it only has 80% chance to score, even if the shot beats the goalkeeper. Most shots are at 95%. Final thoughts. Now Teresa is a long-awaited dream partner for Dreamfist Santana 2.0. He is also extremely deadly against all goalkeepers during full power football, except against Dreamfest Genzo 2.0's first save. Defensively weaker on tackle due to his lower base tackle and the lack of S rank tackle, but extremely strong when it comes to intercept with the possibility of bullying. He will capitalize on his any mistakes made by casual passes as he comes in with the most annoying ability combination, 100% auto intercept and 80% recovery. <laughs> oh my god. Like Tsubasa, Natreza gets an easy 5 stars, no questions asked. He will stay relevant for a very, very long time and will only get stronger once better S rank skills are released. He is also one of the few characters that we feel is worth boundary breaking. However, if you do have both players and have limited boundary break, uh, we suggest going with a full limb break boundary for Tsubasa and just give Natreza just to boundary break until you have enough boundary breaks to give him. Closing thoughts. So guys, these two Dream Festival characters are the pioneers among the Dream Fest pool that comes with the relevant team skills, which we were previously rely on some of the Dream Collection characters, and bonus totaling 4% each. We feel that these two monsters are really worth going for, as they will stay relevant for a very long time, like the characters from the previous Super Dream Fest. It will be nice to get both, since they can be played together with a minimum bond lost, but do prioritize the one that can seamlessly fit into your team before going for the other. We really, I mean really, want to discuss these two in much more depth, but all their stats and skills speak for themselves. We hope all of you are lucky enough to get them and make your ultimate Captain Tsubasa dream team in this current meta. Here is both Weiss and Quasar FC locking this epic super dream fest, and see you guys in another review. On behalf of EK Tsubasa, I would like to thank all the members on Patreon and YouTube. Your support is very much appreciated and motivates us to keep the channel going, making videos for everyone. Do check out ways to support EK Tsubasa or at least take a look. Links provided in the video description. Check out other videos listed here by YouTube. Subscribe if you have not and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a good one and we will see you again soon. This is Quasar FC. Take care and bye bye